lovelies and welcome back. You're so welcome. And today we are talking about my top 10 best value for money designer handbags. So stick around. Well, hi lovelies. It's lovely to have you all back to my new subscribers, not to my old subscribers. You are so welcome. We talk about handbags, lifestyle, fragrances and everything on this channel that's just yummy and I hope you will love it here. So yes, today we are talking about my top 10 best value for money designer handbags in 2021. Now, the criteria for this is first of all, they have to be available. You have to be able to go out and buy these today. No point in me recommending bags or suggesting bags to you ladies and gents out there that aren't available and that you just can't get because you'll be just hitting your head off the wall. So my other criteria is that they have to give obviously the best value for money and be very versatile. So in no particular order and before I jump in I want to talk about my fragrance of the day of course. You seem to be loving this. There are lots of you that are into your fragrances. Today it's only a small sample because that's that's all I have and it is Narciso Rodriguez Eau de Parfum and it is Poudre. It is beautiful. It has jasmine and uh, Bulgarian rose, orange blossom, musk, coumarin, cedar, vetiver and patchouli in there. So it's floral, woody, musky, powdery, sweet rose and vanilla. It is just beautiful and I will definitely be getting a bottle of this. So that is starting off the day and the video beautifully. Go get your fragrance and spray it on you. What are you storing it in your cupboard for? Nobody's gonna smell you nice if you're gonna, not gonna wear your stuff. Now, my first handbag that I went for today, as I said, these handbags, the reason I went for them is to give you the value for money. So I am gonna go with the Palm Springs Mini from Louis Vuitton. So this little beauty is at the moment 1,580 euro. She is just so versatile, so durable, so easy, a grab and go, um, goes with every outfit. I'm wearing cream today and I was wearing cream in other videos. These are just different cream tops that I like and they're cozy, it's freezing, and snowing in Dublin. Yeah, as you can see how beautiful she goes even with baby pink, uh, with blues, all the rest of it. This is beautiful if you're sightseeing, if you're walking, if you're going to town, if you're doing your errands. It is just a brilliant bag. Like I bought this, as I've told you before, with the kind of, I was a little bit anxious, kind of going really, as I said in my other videos, like what the hell, I'm not 17, but um, I am delighted with her. I really am. It's the capacity, as you know, is amazing. I really would recommend her to any of you out there. I don't wear her on my back because, as I said, I'm not 17. You can fit lots and lots in there, uh, but I do wear, wear her crossbody and so hands-free. So she would be a high high eye up on my recommendations to you ladies and gents out there she is a great little workhorse uh moving on from there the alma bb again this one is amazing because again value for money wise this one at the moment with the price increases is 1100 euro and so i think i still think she is amazing value for money the structure and the design of this bag she's an iconic piece as you all know you know she's all the little extra pieces like the little clochette she has the beautiful brass wear she is just elegant and elevates any outfit that you have as you know this one is katie's i borrowed it on her don't tell her okay she has a crossbody strap for those of you who want to be hands-free um, so you can just stick her on there. As I said, I just took her off Katie's display upstairs and you stick her on and put her on hands free and off you go across body. And inside Katie actually has her little mini pochette accessoire. Now a lot of people would class this as it is a catch all. Some people use it as a little handbag or purse. So this is another very versatile and I would recommend it as value for money if you like to use this kind of thing as a handbag. But it just so happened to be in here so I said I'd throw it in. So that is that piece as I said very versatile, great value for money and it's not going out of date anytime soon. This is another thing to take into consideration with your handbags. She's a classic piece. She's going to go with your creams and your reds, obviously. Look inside there. She'll go with black. As you know, Louis Vuitton really goes well with black and she's just a beauty. And I just think for anybody, particularly people starting out, a beautiful piece to have in your collection. Moving on from there, I said we'll take a break from the old Louis for a few minutes and we will go with this little beauty. 
and I have spoken about her so many times, the YSL camera bag. First of all, you can't go wrong with a camera bag. They fit so much. I know this is the mini, but still she packs a punch as much as she fits. The quality as I rave on about YSL is amazing. She is leather lined and has the card slots inside. So you don't even need to bring a card holder with this bag. You just literally put your cards individually inside. There are four different slots. And as I said, again, she will elevate your outfit from day to evening easily enough because of this beautiful gold chain. You can wear this in the rain. You know, if you hit her off anything, she won't scratch, she won't get damaged and just looks beautiful, the little tassel. And the price of this one at the moment is 995 euro. So I think she really is worth every penny. She is a beaut and I would highly recommend her and ease of use, as I said, just to throw her over cross body and off you go. Or in the evening, if you just wanted to use her, just stick the, the chain inside and use her as a little clutch. Now, moving on from there, I want to talk about this beauty now i know this one is obviously a lot more expensive so you're kind of going where are you going with your value for money on this one viv hold on a second just 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 give me a sec so where i'm going on this one is if and i keep saying this to people don't buy millions and you know you don't need you know if you have five to ten handbags even five in your in your collection that is amazing and if you're going to go for uh, quality and timeless and classic and just stunning hold its value you don't want to have handbags sitting in your collection collecting dust as i say this one is a great one to go for and i know i haven't had this one for long but i know for a fact one of the reasons i bought this bag obviously was for its beauty but again i also am quite practical about my purchases and i have her stuffed because i haven't used her in the last couple of days but the amount that this bag can hold is amazing so obviously it's practicality and functionality it's ease of use this was one of the reasons i bought this bag it is lambskin but it's more durable than you would think like obviously i'm not going to go out in the lashes of rain with this bag i want my head examined Maybe I want that examined anyway. <laughs> but uh, the rest, I have plenty of other bags to pick for rainy days. This is not a rainy day bag, but it's absolutely an every other day bag. The cost per wear. This is another factor to take into account when you are looking at investing in your handbags. I know for a fact I'm going to get cost per wear. I, like every time I wear this bag, I bring the cost down because I'm getting the value out of it. She's put to work. She's going to, you know, do her thing. And again, she's gonna hold her value because she is in the classic range in Chanel. She's now a, um, a classic bag and I just love her. Value for money wise, as I said, if you keep her in your collection, you mind her, you stuff her, you store her properly and just, you know, look after your things. Well, then she'll hold her value and you can set her on. She might even, you know, increase in value as she's a classic bag now. And yeah, if you're into selling her on this beauty, I have no intention of her going anywhere, ever. Moving on from herself, then I wanted to talk about Miss Soho Disco from Gucci. Well, this one, as I have talked about before, again, is an amazing little workhorse of a bag. She is just literally throw her on and off you go. Brilliant for walking around in a city as you can turn her this way and there's no big logos jumping out. I know a lot of people are tired of the double GG, but it's not the Gucci Marmont, which was really thrown around everywhere on social media. This one I think is a little bit more understated, a little bit more refined and therefore hasn't kind of just been overexposed if you like and people aren't too sick of it. As I said, I know she's not, you know, a 2021 bag. She's around a few years, but there is a reason for that. There's always a reason these bags stay. Also, of course, she is a camera bag and fits a whole lot. I have her stuffed with the little plastic pillow pouches inside and the lining is just perfect. Some people are afraid of the linen lining in here, but look, get yourself an organizer. Keep telling you. So we only have the discount code down below. I don't earn anything from that, by the way. It's just a code for you. And uh, sorry about the noise. ASMR, it's nice too. <laughs> she is at the moment 980 euro on the website and holds her, her value pretty well. I actually looked up Vestier and a couple of places before I came on. 
and she is selling for 800 euro. Now, obviously with consignment stores, they're gonna take their cut, but that's still good. And particularly if you do a private sale, um, you can really get your money back on this beauty along with your cost per wear. So I would highly recommend this one. And if you don't like the color beige because you're afraid of the color transfer or bringing her out in the rain, there's black, there's red. She comes in lots of different gorgeous colors. The black is a, a brilliant color, obviously, because it's just easy, isn't it? So going from there, then I wanted to re recommend this one. Now, this one, as you would have seen, I was thinking about selling her. And then of course, after the video and I saw how beautiful she was, I was like, why don't I use this bag? She's just beautiful. So I started to put the, um, crossbody strap from my Palm Springs Mini, as I've shown you in different videos. I wear her crossbody. Um, she looks so beautiful. Actually, I have my stuff in her at the moment, but she looks so beautiful with the little gold chain. As you can see there, she's just a little beauty. I just love the pop of color, as they say on this bag. And again, she's easy. Um, because this is a vintage piece, obviously, and I know I said all of the pieces have to be present, but you can still get these online. So obviously my bits and pieces are in there today. And my phone is here on the side. And I've showed you before that the phone fits absolutely no problem as well. This is a good value for money piece as far as cost per wear goes. Um, it is, I suppose, value for money. Well, again, it depends on how you look at it. It's all relative, isn't it? I mean, if you're looking at any designer handbags, you're like, really, are any of them worth it? So it depends on what worth it is to you and what value is to you. If something is bringing you joy and you're enjoying it, well then yes, it is worth it, isn't it? Particularly the times we're in. I would definitely recommend this one. And as you all know, I had the Mila clutch in this print beforehand and it's gone. Let's not talk about that sore subject anymore. But I have this beauty in place, so maybe I shouldn't be so quick to let her go. I have, as you know, sold um, a good few handbags. I'm keeping this for a while, and to all of those of you you've asked, don't worry, the minute I decide to sell her or let her go, I will let you know. I'm being distracted here by Charlie. I don't know if you can see him over there. Charlie, Charlie, you say hello? You say hello? Say hello. He went behind, I think he's a bit afraid. He's a multi -shan. he's very cute. He needs to go to the groomers at the moment. But anyway, it's closed. Now, moving on from there, it wouldn't be a, you know, a, a best video without this beauty in it. So definitely, definitely this one is in one of my top best value for money handbags. When I was buying her first, I was like, oh, it's a little bit expensive for what it is and da da but you know what? Definitely cost per wear on this one is amazing. Um, I cover her with a twilly if it's raining, so I don't worry about her. I've also her sprayed in Appleguard, and I have my organizers and everything inside. The capacity of this bag, the functionality, uh, the durability, versatility, the quality, and I know it's had definitely its quality issues, but they have fixed all of that. This is a brand new piece that they uh, gave me because I had cracking on my old one and Louis Vuitton were brilliant and repl replaced this no problem. This at the moment is 1,600 euro, I think. Yeah, 1,600 euro. But as I said, this is another classic. I mean, it really is. If you just look on this one particularly, she's made really, really well. Not a problem at all with any of the um, glazing. And I just love her aesthetically. I know some people hate her because she looks like a school bag. That's exactly why I like her. I just, she's charming. I think this bag is really, really charming. She has just that old school vibe to her beauty, nostalgia, and is really, really comfortable to wear. I didn't put the straps on her today because just for ease, you know. I'm gonna talk about this little beauty that fell off my table as I was talking to you. Um, value for money, I paid 700 for this. I know you can find her now again. Oh, there's lip gloss, love that. And uh, thought I'd empty them all out. And some of them are eight, 900. This one is obviously vintage. If you can't get your hands on the Nano Speedy, this is the Speedy Mini HL. And I got her on eBay from a trusted seller and she is in perfect condition. The reason I'm picking this bag is obviously like, First of all, 700 euro is quite good value for money um, because of cost per wear and because of the capacity of this bag. She fits my phone, as you know. She fits, I mean, look at the size of this bag to fit your phone. Like seriously, you just, with lots of room, by the way. Like it's, a, it's much bigger and has a lot more capacity than a lot of other bags. This is the 11 Pro. I would really recommend it. Like I use a cross body with the Pochette Matisse strap. You can use one of the gold straps from Dress Up Your Purse. Um, that code is 
down below if you want to use it too and she's a beauty so as i said you know she's just easy if you know your few bits your keys what do we bring keys cash phone check maybe a lipstick and a mask done out the door everything in the bag goes with everything handy easy hands-free brilliant versatile recommend now last but not least i think i haven't left anything out i have two left the second last bag i'm going to recommend is the neo noe and i wanted to recommend a bigger bag because some people prefer bigger bags we don't all like mini bags and some people require bigger bags new moms out there students you know people traveling you might need a bigger bag so this one for that reason versatility this can be a day bag cross body obviously just sling it on your hip and off you go and you just tighten her up she's really elegant this bag i really think she's elegant and she's got beautiful heritage the story behind her and she is just i think a step or as they say cut above the rest as far as hold alls or the never falls i just think she is she's sophisticated and elegant she's got beautiful features as you know i added this strap myself this is one of the famous straps from uh, etsy i will link that down below and a few of you couldn't find it the last time i'll just put the link in the description box it's the easiest it is brilliant to make this a top handle bag and you know when you're getting out of the car it's much easier to grab it like this than be fumbling for this strap and it just gives you the option i mean we're all about options so that is that and then on the inside as i said with the features she has the beautiful microfiber lining and that's where i say look i always have this one packed with scarves and things but she it really is you know just the extra features and she's carefree she's not common you know she's just a little a little extra i think but at, as well she's a good price still and, and i know the price increases but she's 1300 euro i bought this separately i actually think i got that one on etsy as well and uh and of course you know so yeah i would definitely recommend this and again you know if you want to use her on the plane on the train traveling weekends overnight day shopping brilliant little purchase and as i said carefree with the black treated leather now last but not least can you guess i bet you can stick it down below if you can so i couldn't you know not mention this handbag so of course value for money it is hard to beat the ysl toy lulu it really is like as i keep raving on about the quality of ysl they are brilliant actually i've seen t-shirts lately and they say something like, it ain't Saint Laurent without the E's. And I agree, actually. E Saint Laurent just sounds so much nicer than Saint Laurent. I, I think so. It ain't Saint Laurent without the E's. Much better. <laughs> so, yeah, that is the Toy Lulu. Uh, durable, versatile, value for money. She's still 995 euro. Grab and go. Fits everything. Like, as I said, cost per wear, quality aesthetics function everything this bag has it all again if any of you are just worried about the phone situation you know it fits in here no problem at all and there she is with my passport i am ready to get the hell out of here <laughs> i'm on the way over to the us guys <laughs> so um yeah so everything fits in this bag as i said i've shown you watch the video eight different ways how to wear with all the different straps I put a big gold chunky strap on her and lots of different straps she is a beauty i am delighted i got her and i let my small lulu go very sad to have to let that bag go well i didn't have to let her go but you know i did get as you know this beauty so we can't have everything we just can't that's the way life is you know you want this you gotta sacrifice a few and build up the old spondulies that's how we do it around here so that's it ladies and gents i hope that was helpful for you they are my 10 picks for the 10 best value for money designer handbags in 2021 and let me tell you i would recommend these over and over and over again you won't lose a penny on them they're fabulous they work and that's it and i hope you enjoyed until next time be kind be safe be compassionate and i love you lots Mwah.